Hey everybody, what's going on? It's is Max and I'm just showing you guys the bees outside today. Put out a feeder for them and look and behold, there are tons of bees coming and going from it. Now most of these bees that are actually coming and going are just feral bees from the hives that I just can't find around my house. Very few are actually from the nuke box that is just off the frame. And now I feed the bees a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar water uh, every other day now just because the nectar flows on and it seems like all the frames on the inside are doing pretty well. But I'm going to keep it up for the feral hives just in case they need it. Now this was an interesting sight to observe because uh, after working in a commercial hive for a while I haven't seen a big old beetle like this before. I've seen all the small hive beetles, but as you can see in the middle of the frame that all the guard bees and any other bee that is willing to help, they're trying to shove this big old beetle uh, from getting inside their en entrance. And guard bees do their best to keep all the intruders out and maintain the defensiveness of the hive. Luckily for me, they're not as aggressive and I actually don't use a smoker on them. I hope he doesn't get inside, it'll be really annoying. And now I took this video after the fact of checking all the frames and making sure that the health is good. All stages of development, eggs, larva, pupa, and all, everything in between, excellent stores, tons of stores. So that's why I'm just sporadically feeding them that sugar water. But they are very productive, uh, making new comb, cleaning out some of the frames and preparing uh, for, for stores or for eggs. And it's not too far from now that I'm probably gonna need a, a deep box for these, an eight frame or a 10 frame. And I really hope uh, they do well. Obviously I'm kind of, I'm, all, I'm new, so I'm new to beekeeping. I'm worried about swarming, but it's very interesting to observe these little honeybees for these past few months. And I hope you guys continue to follow me on this journey.